Okay, this is the last paragraph. And it is, as you would imagine, a conclusion. So what do you do in the conclusion? Or what do they do in this conclusion? So this author doesn't fully, dis completely disagree with uh, Joan Ryan's focus on parents. And she says, the author of this critique says, it's right for her to focus on that. And it's right to remind us that children can suffer physically and psychologically. Then it goes on to say, perhaps it's better for her, Frederica, uh, that she's not admitted. And we should pay attention to this. Okay, so this author is making clear pains to make sure that we understand that that uh, they are concerned as well, that the author of the critique, just like Joan Ryan, is concerned. And here's the, the point where they part company. Ryan's here, critique, author, here. But, unless there's abuse or neglect that's provable, we can't interfere. No matter how much we disagree. We may be legitimately concerned, but... Uh, and it might actually be that the child ends up as an admission in a psychiatric ward. But this is, this is our plight. Parents have the rights to guide or misguide. And all we can do is hope for the best. Now, that is not a very satisfying conclusion to me, but that is what this author uh, thought was the only alternative. And you may disagree or not, but uh, that's how, she con how this author concludes, how they conclude. And of course, there is a works cited page. Notice it's alphabetical, hanging indent, works cited that's centered. Everything is right inside here. This is a good example. This is how I do my works cited pages. I find examples of them and I look for the one that I need. So that is the end of this. I am going to also include several more um, uh, articles or, or YouTube videos that from other perspectives on, on how to write critiques. And if you prefer them, you can look at those as well. It's been a pleasure doing these. I've learned a lot, and I hope you do too. I'll see you next week during the conferences.